Hey everybody, video here for you today. Since the last few videos have been on the Younger Dryas and that period of history, why don't we talk about it again today? We are going down to Syria today. This site, as you see, underwater. The waters of Lake Assad sit over this archeological site today. It was quickly excavated in around 1973 for a couple years and a dam was built down here, the El Tabqa Dam. So they did quick excavations and they preserved those archeological findings and some studies in very recent days has produced some pretty fascinating findings. The Younger Dryas period, well, let's talk about a city that it looks like was wiped out by the impact 12,800, 12,900 years ago. I will leave a bunch of links below. People who have followed my channel know I have covered ancient Turkey quite extensively. People say Gobekli Tepe kind of sprang out of nowhere, and it's a big mystery, and they attach the hunter-gatherer thing to it. But if you have followed my channel, I mean, how many cities have I documented where there was houses, there was, uh, you know, definitely a culture based on agriculture, thriving and stable and permanent. I don't think hunter-gatherers built Gobekli Tepe. There were settlements all around this area, and they were very civilized. The Stone Age, well, certainly doesn't apply to ancient Turkey, say 13, 12,000 years ago. Now here is a fairly recent story, evidence of comet impact at Abu Harira, Syria, at the Younger Dryas onset at 12,800 years ago, high temperature melting, 2,200 degrees Celsius. That's pretty incredible. This site looks like it may have been wiped out by the impact we have all been talking about, or a fragment of it. Here it just goes into the report of the findings that were made here a little under 50 years ago that were studied recently. So very good when we can do archeological research at a place that is going underwater and have people 50 years in the future looking at it, making good determinations. Here's one of the sites I will leave below. It talks about ancient Syria. It says this country is home to a site. It's a major historical, cultural, and environmental significance. The site was one of the first human settlements known on Earth, Abu Herrera. A report from researchers from UC Santa Barbara showed that this site may very well have been annihilated by the cosmic impact of a well-placed comet. Here's a little map where it sits. Here is an artist's rendition of the ancient Tell before it was covered by floodwaters. But they dug down here in 1972 and 73 and collected samples from the Younger Dryas area. They were studied recently and right in that Younger Dryas boundary, they come up with spherules, nanodiamonds, melt glass, platinum, and everything that indicates an impact right there. Talks about the melting point of the melted glass here, talking about temperature ranges between 1,840 degrees Celsius and 2,300 degrees Celsius, very, very hot. It says, because of the composition of these findings and the probabilities of formation through any sort of means, the study's findings were that this site felt the impact of bits of material that fell after the breaking up of a comet approximately 12,800 years ago. And here's a look at some of those melted glass spherules found at the site, evidence of a major impact here. Here's a look at the samples that were collected in 1972-73, photo micrographed, other things using today's technology, these new findings really confirm what a lot of people have been talking about, that this earth was hit by something significant 12,800 years ago, and that kicked off the Younger Dryas period. But below here, it goes into these photomicrographs, the chemical composition, the melt glass crystals, other things, pretty fascinating. Those of you who have followed my channel know I like to be thorough when investigating mysteries, look at all the evidence I possibly can, Sure seems that something broke up above the Earth's atmosphere or came in in fragmented sections, struck the Earth about 12,800 years ago. We have direct evidence here that this took place. The Tell also had a period of occupation around 8,500 to 8,000 years before present. Here are some tools. They say we're stripping grain right here. Here is a grinding stone for grain that was found at the site, and they estimate this to be 9,000, 10,000 years old. It says here at the end, thanks to the completion of the Takba Dam, known as the Euphrates Dam in 1973, 
The site on which this research center is now deep underwater, without resources gathered by archaeologists prior to the building of the dam, this research might never have been possible. It might still be possible for divers to continue gathering materials from Abu Herrera if given the opportunity by local government officials. If you're planning on making this dive, let us know. I will leave this link below. Here's a video I made over three years ago, Gobekli Tepe, the dire warning of Pillar 43. I just talked about what I thought was represented on this pillar, an impact event. And then a little later that week, a whole bunch of uh, stories broke about uh, a team of experts working on this. They came up that th they thought this indicated an impact event on Earth, though not quite the same way I did, but certainly they would have known about it if there was an impact 12,900 years ago right nearby at Abu Herrera. But I just thought this was very interesting. The milk glass, the elements that were found here really can only be caused by an impact. Did this town get wiped out by an impact at the 12,800 year ago mark? Well, the evidence certainly points that way. Very interesting story here. That is the story of Abu Herrera, kind of lost to histories underneath the waters of Lake Assad today in Syria. But very important findings in present day based on findings about 50 years ago. Very cool story. Hope you thought that was interesting. You all have a very safe day.